Hello and greetings and salutations everyone, it is I, Flip the Bacon, and today we're coming with you for a very long overdue Owlboy review for you guys. Uh, I beat the game a couple months, uh, months ago, and I meant to review it back then, I just got sidetracked and never got around to reviewing it. But we are going to do it today, so starting with the review, we're going to move on to the next page right now. So right here, you'll see on the screen, we have the D-Pad Studio uh, logo over there to the left for you guys. Or I guess it's over to the right. I'm not sure. It's one of those two directions. It's either that way or that way. <laughs> but yeah, developed and published by D-Pad Studios, Owlboy is a 2D, vibrantly detailed, pixel graphic, high bit flying action uh, platformer. That definitely fits the description of the game very well that they wrote. Um... D-Pad Studios there, there. It definitely matches the game very well for Owlboy. And it took me roughly around uh, t about 10 to 13 hours to 100% complete this game. That's getting everything possible in the game. Uh, in the game, yeah, you know, getting everything you can possibly in the game to 100% co complete it here. So we're going to move on to the next uh, page here. So uh, get ready. Category number one, story. Now, before I get too far into this, I have to mention I am going to be talking about some spoilers uh, for Owlboy the game. So, if you haven't played Owlboy, I recommend skipping to Part 2, uh, Category Part 2, and right now, because I'm going to start talking about some spoilers coming up about the story. So, yeah, with Owlboy, the story I found was very fantastic. I really super enjoyed it. I loved all the backstory that they put into all the characters, and I really liked the overall story. It was just fantastic i feel like it kind of started dipping off a little bit uh about halfway through the game um i noticed that you know the story quality was kind of um degrading a little bit but i think this might have been have to do with their very long production for owlboy um and i really had a lot of problems with the ending of the game it left me with so much unanswered questions and i didn't feel like i got any closure uh, to exactly what happened to everybody that in the game because you know you've it wasn't too clear if Otis died or didn't. You know, you know, I think he did die, but it's like trapped in a time loop or something. You don't know what happens to Getty and all the other characters. Uh, the robot guy, I forgot his name right now. I apologize. And Twig or Twitch, I, I believe that's the name of the little spider guy that helps you in the game. Uh, but yeah, I feel like, you know... I could use a little bit more closure at the end of the game there. It went fantastic. Even with that little add-on, little story you can do after the game, um, to find out a little bit more of the story in the game, it wasn't enough to fulfill what I needed. So this ended up earning Owlboy uh, one and a half hearts in category number one, which is story. Category number two, controls. Now, the controls are pretty solid for Owlboy. My only real complaint about it is uh, when you fly, you can push up and it makes you fly. And you could also fly by pushing A, the jump up in the air and fly as well. I kind of wish that um, they had it where, like, the up didn't make you fly. Because sometimes you'll be doing some platforming jumping and you'll accidentally fly a little too soon. And that would make you mess up a few times. Um, I wish they just had a button dedicated to just having you start out the fly. I think that would make the game much better. Um, but, yeah, unfortunately, it did dock it half a heart. Um, I feel like I had to dock it half a heart because it did cause problems a little bit. But the controls are pretty solid for the most part. Um, real no complaints about them. Uh, the controls for <laughs> the cannon part were a little bit weird and it took a long time for me to get used to. But other than that, yeah, it was pretty good, pretty solid. And it ended up earning two, or I shouldn't say two, it ends up earning one and a half hearts in category number two, which is controls. Visual styles or graphics. Now, this is a category that Owlboy excels at really, really well. Um, this game is a wonderful art piece, to say the least. It's gorgeous, beautiful, and I really enjoyed every bit about it. They were not lying at all when they said this was a high pixelated uh, game. It's very, very, very beautiful. And you'll enjoy it all the time. Like, I had spent a lot of time just even looking around at the levels, looking at all the fine details. Everything moves really well and i love all the character designs in this game as well so this ended up earning owlboy two hearts in category three which is visual styles or graphics category number four now category number four is sound and this is another category that owlboy does a really good job in all the sounds in the game uh, feel like they really fit in and nothing feels forced or unnatural to the game if you no, know, every all the sounds in the game just fit in perfectly and i think it actually helps the game out quite a bit too i love everything about the audio 
sounds in this game than the audio effects. So this ended up earning Owlboy two hearts in category number four, which is sound. Category number five, which is music. Now, music is another category that uh, Owlboy excels extremely well at. Uh, it's amazing to think that the uh, music production came from an indie game because this is high quality stuff and I really enjoy it. I even went out and got the soundtrack to this game. I enjoy it so much. Uh, it is fantastic. I really, really highly recommend picking up the original soundtrack for this game on um, Steam or otherwise. I don't know if they sell it on their website or anything, but yeah, the music is fantastic. It really fits in well with the game. It helps the mood of the game and just really overall is a huge, huge um, part of the game that's important and it sounds really good. So this ended up earning Owlboy two hearts in category number five, which is music. Category number six, which is enjoyment. Now, for the enjoyment level for me, I found it very consistently high through Owlboy uh, the whole time I was playing. I really, really did enjoy playing this game almost every single moment. The only point I never really, have really enjoyed the game too much was there was a canon, like, mini game that was introduced that the little owl, um, little owl pig creatures uh, have you played. And that was really frustrating. I almost thought about docking them for this, but I was like, nah, I'm not going to dock them for this uh <laughs> this uh, mini game, which was frustratingly difficult and so kind of out of place for the game, I felt like, uh, just because the controls were odd for it. But yeah, like I said, my enjoyment for this game was pretty high all the way through the game. I really enjoyed it, and it was fun and excellent. Ending it or ending up earning Owlboy two hearts in category six, which is enjoyment. Category number seven: replay value. Now, the replay value in Owlboy, I think, is pretty good. Um, after I beat it with you guys on my Let's Play series, I went through on my own time, back on my own time, and beat it again, I should say, there. Uh, it was really fun. I enjoyed the game enough that, yeah, like I said, I went back and played it again after beating it the very first time. And to add to the replay value to Owlboy, there's a couple items that you can find in gold coins, all the coins, owl coins. Um, you have to go back and find all them. I guarantee you'll probably miss a few like I did. And then after you beat the game, uh, in order to get one of the amulets, uh, spoiler alert for, for you guys, uh, you can get it after you beat the game. That gives you an opportunity to go back and pick up the amulet to get kind of a secret area to the game that explains the story a little bit more for you guys. So overall, um, Owlboy ended up earning one and a half hearts in the replay category, which is category number seven. Category number eight. Unfortunately, I did run into a few bugs while I was playing Owlboy, so it wasn't bug-free at all. The one that really stands out in my mind is uh, if you're using Twig uh, with, Owlboy, or with uh, Otis there, and you grab one of the fruits, and then uh, dismiss Otis, and you drop the fruit, you can't pick up that piece of fruit again unless you use, Otis, or use Twig again to uh, pick up that fruit with his uh, uh, spiderweb shot. So yeah, I ran into a few other little bugs here, unfortunately. Uh, that's just how it goes sometimes. So this ended up, but there weren't any game-breaking bugs, I should point out. That's an important part. There was no game-breaking bugs in the game. So I only, you know, only ran into some few minor bugs here and there. Nothing big, nothing too problematic. So this ended up earning Owl Boy uh, uh, to one and a half hearts in category eight, which is bug-free. Category number nine, tutorial slash informing. Now, Owlboy does a very good job at teaching you everything you need to know in the very beginning tutorial uh, before you, uh, in the very beginning of the game, I should say, not before you start playing it. But in the very beginning of the game, they have a tutorial that pretty much teaches you everything you need to know about the game. And that's pretty much it, you know. It does an extremely good job uh, telling you what you need to do or how to do it. So this ended up earning Owlboy two hearts in category number nine, which is tutorial slash informing. Category number ten, difficulty. Now, the difficulty in uh, Owlboy was pretty much perfect for the game for all sense, intents and purposes. I found uh, only one part to be uh, out of the ordinary for the difficulty, and that was the canon minigame with the pig owl things. And I was almost contemplating um, docking them. I have a heart on it, but I was like, nah, I can't really dock them a heart on that. But yeah, that whole canon part, guys, um, D-Pad Studios, that was ridiculously hard. That was so out of place for the <laughs> the, the game here. It, it really was upsetting and hard to do. But yeah, the rest of the game was perfect, uh, perfectly balanced difficulty. I didn't have any issues with this. So this ended up earning Owlboy uh, two hearts in category number 10, which is difficulty. So the final score for Owlboy was 18 hearts in total, landing it in that 14 to 18 heart range of excellent. 
Uh, right here, I'm going to read you the description I wrote for the game here uh, for the review, which was most people find Owlboy very enjoyable and I highly recommend it. Suffers from little design issues, minimal bugs, or other minimal amounts of flaws. Everyone who grew up grew up or loves playing video games on the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis will instantly fall in love with this game. If you enjoy classic games like Demon Crest, Echo the Dolphin, Super Metroid, and Kirby Superstars, then Owlboy is for you. And I couldn't, uh, yeah, I couldn't agree more <laughs> with what I said there, obviously, because I wrote it. But yes, uh, if you're a fan of the classic games, this will fit in your right right up your alley. Uh, the Owlboy came out, came out back like on the Super Nintendo, even like early PlayStation ages. I think this game would have been a cult classic uh, on those systems and would be played widely even still to this day. Uh, so yeah, Owlboy did a really good job. It ended up earning 18 hearts in total. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to the next page. So on this page here, um, I'm changing it up a little bit different in my reviews here. I used to keep the links up here for you guys to see. Uh, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, this way. Nope, nope, it's this way. I used to write all the links in there, but uh, I, I gave that up because it was so much more work. And then I'm just going to mention here that you can find all the links below uh, in the description, the YouTube description below, you can find links to the Steam Store page, to D-Pad Studios, uh, social media websites, their web page, and you can find a link to this, yeah, I think I just said the Steam Store page where you can pick up Owlboy, and you can find a link to my Blind Let's Play series on Owlboy. If you just want to check out the game, if you haven't already played it before, uh, I would highly recommend checking out my Let's Plays of those so you can kind of get a feeling for the game and see what it's all about. But yeah, I really did enjoy Owlboy. It was a super fantastic game. Um, I really, really, really am looking forward to more games done by D-Pad Studios. Maybe we can get an Owlboy 2 in the future. That'd be fantastic. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess, you know, I can't say much more than a fantastic game. It's pretty crazy that this game came out by any company because it was on par with, I would say, uh, major gaming labels, uh, games like Nintendo and Sega. I wouldn't, you know, this was on par with their some of their best games that they have produced. But yeah, guys, I guess we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. As you always know, I always say, flip that bacon, see you next time, and goodbye. D-Pad Studios, congratulations on finally finishing Owlboy. It was definitely worth the wait all these years. Fantastic game. All right.